Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'll press my camera. Welcome back to another team print video of sorts. Um, it is Thursday. I didn't mean to say it was Thursday. As I'm recording, it's this Thursday. I have lots of things to record today, so if I say some things, um, my mind's everywhere right now. I just got done recording the National Dragon video that went up to yesterday. It's, it's Thursday. Because you're just seeing this. Um, well, here for our team print video, we are going to be battling. Mr. Ginjanin and the New England Needle Queens. Actually, I didn't want to say. Never mind. So I did some team prep. Okay, I did some practice matches with Mark. I won a lot of them. But then he took a quicker or a closer evaluation of my team because I team prepped by myself. And he said, "Okay, this could be changed. This could be changed. This could be changed." Because you know we're more effective than this. So here is his team. Will be right below me. But his team consists of. Kirin Black, Latios, Right, Cool Mega Aragorn, Needle Queen, Arcanine, Alomola, Doug Trio, Sensino, Tauros, Scyther, and Polyrath. Now, this is a pretty scary team looking at it now. Alright, so, so, I actually, uh, I'm kind of happy I sent the team by myself. I'm not saying, oh, I can do this better than this, but actually, uh, in the practice matches with Mark, it's bringing with some scary, lots of scary things, and I still had a chance. The biggest start for me would be the Sensino and Kirin. Cause, uh, and uh, that's honestly all. I can't handle everything else here. So taking a look at our team, we have Blaze of Zoom World. We can another comeback for this team. He's holding stages very his abilities, huge power, and he has Belly Drum, Aqua Jet, Play Rough, and Knock Off. Now, he's, I'm not planning on doing a late sweep, like having him sent out first. He's, he's going to be late sweeper of sorts. And uh, let me quick, 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 my drink real quick. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Um, no. I'm sorry for this thing that's like really heavy. It's just it's like negative 20 degrees in my room right now. Ooh, blah, blah. It's negative 20 degrees in my room right now. Jesus Christ. Wait, is Bandy Cam even recording my... Oh, here it is. Oh, so make sure that... Oh, yeah, not... yeah, make sure it's recording my audio. So I changed the settings so she only record my snowball. So that's saying, please is here. A late sweeper of sorts. Aqua Jet. And it'll get priority if I need to. Move my headset. Uh, Play Rough is there for the Latios. It's not good very very well against the Kirim. Jeez, I'm gonna wait. I said something about him. And uh, I think that's kind of there. He's just there really after that. And the knockoff's there to get rid of any item. Latios to crit again. It's the psychic type. Um, Polyrath. No, not Polyrath. That's kind of there. Next up. If you guys are following UP on Twitter, I highly really recommend you guys do. You guys see that we should make Altaria this week for Mega Slowbro. So this is Mega Slowbro's debut match. Mega Slowbro is really, funny, but is really is a monster. So yeah, meets in Mega Slowbro, holding okay, of course Slowbro Knight, Amnesia, Sidekick, Scald, and Slack Off. Now Slack Off is there to gain some HP back. Amnesia is there to boost our special defense. Cause you see, I put all our IVs, EVs into defense. So probably gonna force. We recently eat up almost any hit really needed, especially from the Sassino if he brings that from Bullet Seed. So the uh, Amnesia is there to boost our, our special defense up. Set up probably two. Three maybe. No, I'll be max there. I'll be happy. I'll be there. I'm ready. Besides that, Skull is there for stab. Psychic's there for stab. But he is kind of there to handle. Well, first off, the Needle Queen, the Polyrath, Arcanine, the Trio, the Tauros, of course, because I don't know what Mark put on his Tauros. I kind of destroy that. Um, it could be there to take some hits from the Kiram. But it's not really there for the Latios or the Reich. Okay, we're back. Then my face cam ended. I don't know why. I seen that. Good thing I caught that though. So we're there. We're here. So first off, we... No, we did not make this trade. This is actually one of our first things we drafted in Yu-Yu. Or it's not the first thing we drafted in Yu-Yu. But it's one of the things we drafted in Yu-Yu for our pick. Uh, he's making his first interview match. It's Yondai, Mei, the Entei. He's here. He's happy. He's ready to take the team on. Now... He doesn't feel like, oh, why is he holding a focus sash? Well, there's a reason why he's holding a focus sash. I'll get into that a little bit. But he's running a stream speed, stone edge, sacred fire, and will o' wisp. Now, the Kirin Black is a very scary thing in OU. He's very physical. That's why will o' wisp is there to cut the defense, or to cut the attack, so he can't really do much to me afterwards. So he's gonna be there, he's not gonna do much. So, unless he's running heal bar or lumberry, or something like that. No, I can't take it now. Stone Edge is there to, you know, to handle the Raikou, of course. Let's see, Raikou, Arcanine. Uh, Scyther, I think, I don't, they won't, they won't think it'll fare very well against the Lodges. I look so white, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just really light skin. But, um, Sacred Fire, of course, that is to handle, you know, anything I could with that. I don't think Arcanine gets Flash Fire or anything. I don't know what's abilities, actually. I'll look it up afterwards. 
But uh, I'm looking over here to see a team, but it'll be right below me. But uh, then, there we go. But now, by putting HP and attack into this, I'm out of nature. I'm gonna do. Why do I have 4 8 4 into here? It's a bit 4 speed. It's just like a spear thing. Yeah, 4 speed. So I'm gonna focus dash because the crew in black, if one outrage, not even set up, it will demolish me. So I put in a focus dash. Just so I can get off of a little wisp. I already know I'm gonna outspeed it. Since uh, it has like base 95 speed, and I think it's base, uh, base 100. So I will speed it, so, so I'll live one hit as well. So I get a little wisp off, and then I can get some sacred fire off, and we'll get some damage off. And so he won't be able to do much damage, but you know, they were there. So you have Jaboon as well coming in again. Jaboon is holding the Star Wars Vault as well with Skull Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, and Heal Bell. So Heal Bell is there to get if I get toxic by anything. Switch to Jaboon. Hopefully, I still have Jaboon by then. You know, I can heal all that off. But Jaboon is here to handle the Raikou. Needle Queen, Loma Mola, let's see what else is there, and Polyrath. It's here for Raikou because I have Volt Absorb, so if it tries to like, Volt Switch me or something like that, or if I'm in Blizzis or Mizu, I switch into Jaboon, for guys for a second, and then uh, I'd like to get the, some HP back if I lost any, I'm gonna use electricity now. Oh, that fancy goodness. So next up we have coming back is Pre-K. So Pre-K is here, he's carrying a uh, choice scarf. Both strike decrate create U-Train and Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam is there for the Latios and Kiram if needed. Both strike is there for the Loma Mola and Holy Wrath. And uh, V-Crate is there, just no for the Scythe. V-Crate is still going to do a lot of damage. I don't know if I can because uh, it's, it's, it's Pre-K. And then U-Turn, I'm, I'm, of course I'm going to start it with Pre-K. U-Turn is there, you know, if I still don't like what I see. Just switch out real quick. And I say I get pursuit trapped, and then you know, that's gonna kind of destroy me because I'm psychic and after dark. I'm pretty sure it's dark. I think it's ghost actually. I don't know. But to make it his next debut match, not debut match, but he wasn't here last week. Yeah, Golden State the Quagsire. He is here. He is happy. Quagsire is gonna be there for the Mega Agron, of course, because worst comes to worst, it's gonna be Mega Agron versus Golden State here. So uh, we have Earthquake, Toxic, Recover, and Ice Punch. Ice Punch is going to be here for the Needle Queen. It's going to be for the Duck Trio. It's going to be here for the Latios and Kirum Last Resorts. Recover is actually going to HP Toxic, so I can empty some Toxic Lock. Earthquake again for Mega Agron. I can't see my potential now. I want to put some HP and defense into this thing. Do physically defensive, add a little bit of attack. Alright, for some reason, Bandy Cam did not, uh, it didn't record my audio for this rest of this little team prep thing. Because I don't, I don't honestly don't know why, but it's a good thing I actually looked back and edited, and you know I, I caught this. So for I forgot what was happening right now in the video, but for the rest of this thing, it's just me talking about Quagsire and how he's there for the Agron with Earthquake, Ice Punches for the Dragons, Last Resort to recover HP and Toxic just to get and Toxic well Toxic and recover to sell things out. That's essentially what I said for like the rest of this, and nothing else I really say. So uh, I might as well just put this in there and you know, do my outro. So hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe guys. Happy Primary Free Foundation. Look to Twitter and you can pay Twitter. All these videos in the description below and all that. Thank you guys. So this is it, guys. I'm Professor Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.